Hello, my dear students. In this video lecture, I'm going to tell you about AIDS. What exactly the AIDS is and what it stands for and how it is going to spread. So, this AIDS stands for acquired immuno. This AIDS stands for acquired immuno deficiency syndrome. Acquired immuno deficiency syndrome. Okay. And this is a disease which is caused by a virus which is known as HIV virus. It is known as HIV virus and this stands for human immunodeficiency virus. Human immunodeficiency uh, virus. Okay. And uh, okay. So, this acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, it is uh, basically a deficiency disease of immune system. This word AIDS, it stands for acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And this means there is a deficiency of immune system. Deficiency of immune system acquired during the lifetime of an individual indicating that it is not a congenital disease. It is not a congenital disease. If I talk about congenital, it means from birth. So, it is not congenital disease. And what do you mean by this word syndrome? This exactly, this is the group of symptoms. When you are having a group of so many symptoms that it is called as syndrome. Okay. So, AIDS, it was first reported in which year? It was reported in 1981, okay? And this AIDS is caused by human immunodeficiency virus, as I told you, which is known as HIV virus, which is a group of viruses called retrovirus. It is a group of virus which is called as retrovirus and it is having an envelope, which have an envelope enclosing the RNA genome. It will enclose which type of genome? That is the RNA genome. And this transmission of HIV infection generally occurs by how it is going to spread? So, spread by sexual contact with the infected person, sexual contact with the infected person or by the, with the infected person. And second thing, it can be caused by the transfusion of number 2 is caused by transfusion of transfusion of contaminated blood transfusion of contaminated blood okay and blood products and it is also caused by the sharing of infected needles it is caused by the sharing of Infected needles. So, in the case of intravenous drug abusers, and from the infected, it can be also spread from the infected mother to the child through placenta. Infected mother to child through placenta. Through placenta. So, the people who are at high risk of getting this infection includes individuals which have multiple sexual partners, uh, drug addicts who take drug intravenously and the individuals who require repeated uh, blood refusions. Okay. So, in NCRT it is given uh, a picture of replication of retroviruses. In this picture, you can easily understand the things. Retrovirus. And this is a viral code code and viral protein code. And it is going to enter into the animal cell. So, this is all about the basics of AIDS. How it is going to spread from one person to another person. And which virus is responsible. That uh, is the deadly virus which is called as HIV. Okay. So, this is all about this uh, video, this topic. These are the basics. I hope this topic is clear to you. Thank you.